So do you want to talk about Vault 7? Yeah, I want to hear what you have to yeah. say about this. Ian Thompson uh, did the work so we didn't have to. He actually went through all 8,000 <laughs> documents, 8,761 CIA documents published yesterday on WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks, uh, again, uh, while it's, you know, there's, it's hard to tell the provenance of these, it seems highly unlikely that WikiLeaks could have generated this much content spuriously, speciously, so it's probably real or something like it. They were, they were good enough not to include the exploits, the actual code, just the descriptions thereof. Most of this, like the Snowden revelations, is several years old. Uh, some of it was misreported initially. For instance, you might have seen that the CIA can break Signal, WhatsApp, and Telegram encrypted messaging. Not so. Um, uh, as Ian points out, what it actually says is that the CIA, if they can compromise the device, the computer, the phone that's using Signal or WhatsApp or Telegram, they can get it before it's encrypted. That does not say that they can decrypt it in transit. That's fairly important. Um, so one of the things, of course, is that your Samsung TV, in one particular model, could be uh, used to listen to you. They've got the the code to hack it and turn on a full-time speaker and microphone, which is funny because there was a big brouhaha. Samsung, in its terms of service last year, you know, let slip in there, oh, and third parties could possibly be monitoring you, scaring <laughs> everybody. And, and we, we said, oh, that's just boilerplate. That's not possible. Well, hmm. Hmm. Uh, so Edward Snowden tweeted uh, yesterday, still working through the publication, but what WikiLeaks has here is genuinely a big deal, looks authentic. I guess Edward would probably be a pretty good expert on that. Uh, with regards to uh, particular operating systems, CIA has a modest collection of attack tools for systems powered by Microsoft's Windows, keystroke loggers, sandbox, escape ropes, antivirus avoidance mechanisms, CIA analysts found flaws in control panel, the ability to add data streams to NTFS without detection, so you could put data onto storage drives, um, DLL f files, a popular attack vector. Uh, there's a program called Ricky Bobby, <laughs> which is Will Ferrell's character in the movie Talladega Nights. It uses Windows PowerShell and several .NET DLLs to put a listening post on a target PC. You know, all of this you, you kind of expect they have. The one big takeaway was how much more uh, hu humor in the uh, code names the CIA's stuff had than, uh, than uh, the NSA stuff. Like names like Swamp Monkey, Eggs Mayhem, Ricky Bobby. Weeping, weeping, weeping Angel. Angels. Yeah, Weeping Angel. We liked that one. That's, of course, a, a Doctor Who reference. I didn't know that, but I was informed. Lots of pages of hacking tools for OS X, including, uh, at the time, it was the most recent version of OS X. Oh, Capitan, of course, this is, this is an old dump, so uh, presumably they've updated those. There's a project called Harpy Eagle that analyzes the Apple's airport extreme firmware for private keys and then cracks it, also time capsule systems. There's a project called Quark Matter that puts persistent spyware on an OS X system using an EFI driver stored on the system, EFI system partition. In other words, something that wouldn't be wiped by formatting the drive. Snowy Owl uses open SSH to pull off remote monitoring. I mean, it goes on and on and on. This is a very rich set of stuff. Now, Android... Whew, Lots of exploits. Uh -oh. Kronos, Creatin, uh, oh. Starmy, Snubble, <laughs> Bowtie, Sucker Punch, and Roid Rage. Uh, SMS stealing, Chrome-based attacks for Android. There's a huge number of exploits. Escalation of privileges, allowing malicious apps. Baron Samdi, which is a voodoo name. Doug Trio and Salazar allow for remote access. They're fixed or mitigated by later versions of Android, but remember a lot of people have older versions of Android, and of course this list is three years old. Uh, the CIA stash contains, this is all for me and Thompson on the register.co.uk, the CIA stash contains rundowns on most of the popular antivirus systems and how to defeat them. Much of the information has been redacted, but there are a few snippets left. 
So they 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 that's interesting that they're working to defeat antivirus uh, software because it's a path in, right? Yeah, it's a virus. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, Chrome? What the? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Smart TV. I haven't got to Chrome yet. Uh, smart no. TVs. We mentioned Weeping Angel, which takes a Samsung TV and turns it into a fake off mode, which makes it look like it's powered down, but it's still on and can be used as a bugging device. <laughs> That's really handy, actually. Uh, but mm -hmm. the TV has to be compromised by a, a USB stick inserted into the device. Yeah, uh, that one wasn't as stressful. Yeah. Although, you know, if they're going to come into your hotel room or whatever to put a bug in there... I've been watching the Americans. They could stick the USB. In the TV. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, how how easy is that? To, you know, you don't have to drill holes or anything. Apparently, they're looking actively at the Internet of Things now. Three years ago, IoT was not such a big uh, story, but it is now, right? Um, I feel like it's almost exactly in the same place. To be totally honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three years of IoT excitement, and um, basically, the most advanced devices I have are my Nest and my Echo. Yeah. So. And uh, you're living Brigadoon. <laughs> One analyst included his favorite ASCII characters for conversing online with Japanese people, along with games he likes to play and some music suggestions. I guess they had a kind of a, a jaunty way about them, the CIA operatives. So uh, Ian, we'll get Ian on soon because he's been, poor guy, he said a really rough night because he's been reading all 8,000 pages looking for the exploits. Jesus. Uh, you know, this is where machine learning could totally help. Yeah. <laughs> you run this sucker through. I'm. I'm not. I mean, like to, a way to be better at your job is to, you know, yeah, yeah. write a program that would be this way. You should probably learn how to. Well, do you it. you saw that uh, article uh, about uh, journalists upset with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You must have put that one in, right, Jeff? No, I didn't. No, no, it was already there. Uh, My benefit. Let me find it here. Um, we get a, we get upset so easily. You journalists, stop the presses. Journos not happy losing jobs to journo bots, say journos. Once again, the register with its great sense of humor. Like, did they use the word boffin? Because it's not a register. <laughs> they, they didn't call someone boffin. a boffin. They got to use boffin.